Hey guys, it's Angie here. Today I am by myself. Andy's at work. He got a new job, so his hours are a little different now. And I'm not sure, you know, until we get things sorted out, how much time he's going to have to join me, you know, the first few weeks while he's getting adjusted and all that stuff. So I decided to hop on here on this rainy day when there's nothing else to do and kind of do this video solo today. So as you guys saw in my last video or our last video we did a little unbagging unboxing kind of thing on the lululemon belt bag and ever since that video i've actually been using it so here it is full of all of my stuff so i've been using it every day since then so that i can give you guys a real honest review so let's go ahead and just get into it so again here it is if you didn't see the last video this is the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag, and it is in black with silver hardware. Forgive me if my eyes kind of wander back and forth. I'm looking at myself in the, the screen here to make sure I'm still in frame all the time. So anyway, um, mine is black with silver hardware, and it's got this little rubber tab right here that says Lululemon on it. It does have a zippered pocket on the back which is really handy, and I'll tell you in a little bit what I use that for. And a very adjustable strap. It buckles here on the side, and it's got these little rubber bands, kind of things, elastic pieces to kind of like just keep this in place so that when you adjust it differently, you don't have this little tab flapping around all over the place. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what fits in here because I know you guys can see it's not very big I don't carry a lot of stuff to begin with but I'm kind of impressed with the amount of things that this does fit so in the back pocket um sorry I have been keeping my business cards because I sell real estate so I keep my cards back there so they're easy to access and whenever I purchase something I also just stick my receipts back here that way when I get home I can just go ahead and balance the book and all the receipts are in one place and nothing's lost but, um, and I would show you if I wasn't filming on my phone, but my phone is an iPhone SE and it does fit in here with room to spare. So I know if you have a larger phone, it would fit also on the inside. Uh, and let me just talk about the zipper. It's a plastic zipper, but it's a big chunky plastic zipper, which I really like because they seem to work a lot smoother. But watch this. Just boom. And it's done. I mean, it opens so smoothly, even though it has to go around these two bends here, no problem, just like butter, which is really cool. And that's one of the things that some of the other people I've watched reviews on had talked about, that the zipper was very smooth. So this is what the inside looks like with the things that I've been carrying. So on the back is a mesh pocket, which right now I apparently have an old receipt in there. Sorry about that. So I don't have anything in this mesh pocket right now other than that receipt, but your phone, or my phone rather, does fit in here. So again, it's an iPhone SE and it fits in here with room to spare. So if you'd rather keep your phone on the inside, this big mesh pocket on the back does fit that. As I take things out and empty it, then I'll talk about the quality. So in the main center, it's kind of hard to hold by yourself, um, I have this essential oil case, which those of you who have been watching me for a long time know that I always carry this with me. It, you know, is about the size of the palm of my hand here, and that fits perfectly inside. Also, I have this Studienberg little coin case thing that I've been using instead of a wallet, and I've just been kind of sticking my driver's license on the back here and my card in this little slot. I slide this down into the side of that and then I can keep other cards and change and stuff in the center so I use this in here instead of a wallet but I will show you here soon that my actual wallet does fit and then in these back pockets I just keep like another tube of essential oil some lip products my keys stuff like that these two little mesh pockets here on the back they're very very handy for little stuff like that so that it's not falling all over the place. Now, let me take these things out real quick and show you the inside. Okay, so like I said, it's got the big mesh pocket across the back, the two smaller mesh pockets on the front, and then it's just wide open space. Now, the mesh in here, when I heard that it was gonna be mesh, I assumed it was gonna be really thin, kind of crappy, like tear easy kind of mesh. But let me tell you, this is not. Let me see if I can pull this out here and just show you. This is very, very 
strong. I'm pulling pretty hard on this, poking hard on it, and it is not budging. I mean, it is really, really strong. So I was impressed with the mesh. And I mean, the quality is just really good for what it is. The nylon, if you've ever had a Prada bag, a Prada nylon bag, or even um, the Dooney & Burke Wayfarer collection, that nylon, it feels very, very similar to that. It's very strong, very durable, but smooth and has a nice feel in your hand. Um, <clears throat> the strap, as I believe we stated in my unbagging video, it feels like kind of the seatbelt material, like in your car. It is so strong and just, I mean, I wish you could feel this because it, it's really good quality. I'll give you an up close here. There's no pick marks and I have been so rough with this thing on purpose. I have been wearing it kind of crossbody, you know, like this for the most part. But when I go to the animal shelter to volunteer and walk dogs, I wear it as a true fanny pack and the dogs have jumped up on me. It's gotten mud and paw prints and all kinds of stuff on it and it just wipes right off. Their toenails will scratch this and you can't even tell. It is so, so durable and it's really lightweight, collapsible. You can stick it in another bag and bring it with you, which is what I think I'm going to do on a more regular basis is just kind of keep it in the car and put my phone and my keys in it whenever I go to walk dogs and stuff. Um, it's just really great for that. Let me show you, in case you don't want to carry a card holder, this is my actual wallet. It is the removable credit card wallet from Dooney and & Burke, and it's, you know, opens up to be kind of a full-size wallet, but as you can see, it's almost the size of my entire hand, so it's not a tiny wallet, and it fits in here no problem. Just like that. Let me stick my essential oils in there too. So you can see that those fit. I can still put all the stuff back in the pockets if I want to. There's still, there's the zipper, <laughs> room to spare. It zips up. Now, because it's nylon, you can see lumps and bumps and things like that. So if that bothers you, you might want to use more flat items in here, but that doesn't really bother me so much. But I just wanted to show you that this actual true wallet does fit and you don't have to resort to only using a card holder in here. The only reason I used something smaller was because this wallet, when it's full, is kind of heavy and I didn't want that added weight on, you know, my chest and when I was carrying it as a fanny pack. So, um, as far as how I've been liking it, it was really strange for me at first to have something like right here on my chest, this bulkness that kind of sits like right above my stomach when it's full. Um, it's just an odd feeling kind of stuck out a little bit in a way like I guess a pregnant belly would stick out a little. I don't know how else to describe it. It just was something I had to get used to because I'm used to carrying typical crossbody bags that sit on the hip. So this was a little odd, but once I got used to it, it was really no big deal at all. And I found that it's very comfortable and I would just get in the car, stick my seatbelt on, not even realize that I was still wearing it. It's really nice. And to wear it as a fanny pack, it's wonderful. It's very lightweight. It's perfect for hiking, going out walking, walking dogs, anything like that. Um, will I continue to use this as a purse? Probably not on a regular basis because Part of the reason that I love handbags so much is because I dress so casual most of the time and the bags are what make me feel kind of fancy. And you know, this is very sporty. So when I'm already sporty all over, I don't want to be dressed down too much all the time. So I'll probably reserve this for when I'm volunteering at the shelter or if we're going, you know, hiking or if we're gonna be, you know, going to the zoo or something like that. We're gonna be out all day long and I just need something that's easy and secure close to the body. Um, another thing I like about having this zippered pocket on the back is if you wanted to keep your cash and your cards and stuff in there and you wear it like this, it is right up against your body. There's absolutely no way that anybody without taking this off of you can get in there to access your important stuff. So that's really nice as well. And these on the Lululemon website are only $38. Now this is the smallest size and it's out of stock a lot and I've been told by the Lululemon um, people, employees on the website and both in the store, in the nearest store that we have to us, 
which is two hours away, that they restock every Tuesday. So if you see that it's out of stock, check first thing Tuesday morning and you might be able to catch it. Once they are in stock, they're not in here for very long. They sell out in five, 10 minutes sometimes. So I was really lucky to be able to snag this that one day that I did. Um, what else was I gonna say regarding that? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long day. Anyway, so yeah, overall, I'm very, very pleased. For 38 bucks, you can't really beat the quality. It is better quality than a lot of things that I've seen that cost a lot more than this. So I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's just not my style for wearing every day, but I do see myself getting a lot of use out of this. It's a very practical thing. So if a belt bag is something that you're into, I definitely suggest trying this one out. They do also have a bigger size, and if I was to buy it again, I may buy the bigger size. And I've seen also for winter now, they have some like quilted ones, some fuzzy ones, they come in several different colors. So definitely check it out. Um, I'll try to link that stuff or at least um, if it is available, I'll try to link it in the description box. If it's not linked, then it wasn't available at the time, so just have to check it out for yourself on the website. You can find them on the resale market, Poshmark, eBay, stuff like that, but people know that they sell out so quickly, and I've seen them going for $75 to $100, which is ridiculous because this is $38 brand new. So if you're patient, you'll be able to find one. So anyway, that is it. That is all I have to say about the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.